Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today we are working on odor removal. This has some serious smoke damage in the interior. Um, the customer had just picked it up and we are going to get it uh, smelling and looking fresh inside. That type of a detail is a rather uh, in-depth and laborious detail. And I'm going to take you along for the ride today. It is a combination of a chemical and mechanical detail. You want to reach and treat every square inch if you can. That all starts by pulling out the seat belts all the way out and clamping them so they stay um, extracted. Then you want to pull the mats and then we are going to use compressed air to get any loose crumbs or dust or dirt uh, down onto the carpet to vac up and while Brian Jr. is taking care of that I will fire up the steamer the chief steamer and I'll put an ounce or two of the Hydra uh, rinseless wash into the chemical bin and uh, that'll mix together with the water and we'll have some steam to help treat some of these surfaces you need to be careful with steam you can't just go uh, heating up and steaming and saturating every material in the interior I'll show you how to use it for smoke and odor removal we're going to use Phoenix EOD's Kraken we're going to get a pile of old microfibers these are going to get tossed when we're done because they will reek and they will be dirty we work from top to bottom and when using the steamer keep the steamer moving and get that um, mixture of chemical and warm steam up into uh, every area you can it just it warms up the area and relaxes the fiber so to speak and then we're going to spray our um, cleaner into a microfiber and we're going to gently and carefully clean the headliner Headliner is only held up there by a thin adhesive layer for the most part. So you can't oversaturate, you can't mistreat the material, and you can't be rough with it either. You just have to be careful, but be thorough up there. That's where the smoke uh, lingers before it heads out either one of the windows or the sunroof. So we're going to concentrate up in these areas first and pay a lot of attention up here. You'll notice I'm not looking for the steamer to do the work for me. I'm looking for it to assist me a little bit, give me a little bit of warmth and steam and a little bit of moisture. And that's how I approach pretty much the whole interior when it comes to steam. It can damage plastic. It can damage uh, upholstery. So you do need to be careful with it. We're going to work our way from the headliner down the A, B, and C pillars. And they're pretty much using the same materials and they're held on by uh, the same adhesive. So you still want to be very careful in these areas. You'll also notice I'm spraying the cleaner directly into the microfiber instead of onto the material like the plastic or the headliner or the upholstery. That is the safest way to clean. I have the seat belts pulled all the way out and clamped so they are held in place for two reasons. So I can mechanically and chemically clean them uh, with the aid of the steamer. You can use a brush, you can use a, a drill brush. Uh, I'm going to use a microfiber towel and the with the assistance of the steamer to clean these. And I'm also going to keep them pulled completely out for the chemical treatment at the end of the video as well.
Working our way from top to bottom, it's time to attack the door panels, again with the assistance of the steamer, carefully, never hovering in one place, uh, never uh, chemically burning the plastic, which can permanently stain it. Just be careful and use it to help assist you. For the most part, I like to spray the cleaner into a microfiber or the detailing brush and go to work from there. That way you don't have chemical dripping down plastic trim, which can stain again. Um, just need to keep some of these small details in mind to keep the material in pristine condition as you're cleaning them. I also like to use this leather uh, scrub brush on textured plastics as well. It's made for leather seats, but with the short fibers that really get in uh, the valleys of the textured plastic and clean, give it a deep clean, I enjoy using it. I then like to follow up with forced air to help me with any remaining moisture. Time to move on to the leather seats and it's an easy decision to reach for Angel Wax Heaven for Leather. Where and if you can get away with it just spray the cleaner into a nice soft microfiber and clean up. If you need something a little bit more aggressive, you can use a detailed, soft detail brush or the uh, leather scrubbing block that I had earlier that I used to work on the door panel. Time to pay attention to the dash area. Uh, you want to use the least amount of moisture as possible in these areas. That's where most of the wiring and the electronics and also the infotainment center is located.
When I come across a steering wheel that has a ton of oils from your hand and dirt, I like to use these thin scrubbing pads. You do need to be mindful that it can bring up uh, dye from the leather as well as some of the dirt. Sounds like the shop manager has awoken from her afternoon nap. Time to let her back into the shop from the office, and then we can go about cleaning the carpeting. For that, we'll fire up the extractor, the heated extractor, and we'll clean up as much as we can reach. Windows will be next, and my favorite cleaner for windows, Phoenix EOD Hydra, which is a rinseless wash. Don't forget the rubber floor mats. That will pretty much wrap up the mechanical treatment of the interior. Time to treat it chemically. And for that, we're going to leave the seat belts pulled all the way out and clamped, but spread them out over the seats and just check over everything. Everything's nice and clean and fresh now. For the chemical treatment of this interior, we'll go with BioBombs, which is a complete odor removal system, and that utilizes ClO2, which is chlorine dioxide. It can be used to treat tobacco, pet odors, egg smell, uh, BO, mold, mildew, dairy spills, urine perfume, uh, gasoline spills, sports gear, uh, and much, much more. Start up the vehicle when possible and get the air going so the air is circulating throughout the vehicle and we can clean the venting system. You need to change the cabin filter along with this process. There is a little tablet in this foil. Tear open the foil, drop the tablet into the container that has water filled up to the line. There is a tiny pump that we will drop the line into that water. It will percolate and help speed up the system of killing the enzymes using this chemical. These have been great in cars, trucks, buses, RVs, campers, work trucks, utility and cargo vans, um, food trucks, ambulances, airplanes, boats, you name it. This has been successful. You could even, uh, on the harshest of odors, team it up with the ozone machine. We now, on a chilly day, had the vehicle running on the inside with the help of the exhaust vents, and we have the air circulating within the vehicle and getting that chemical circulating and getting after those odor enzymes. After an hour or maybe even overnight, just open the doors and windows, let it ventilate, and you are good to go.